Hello. Hello everyone. It's that time again with fishing. Welcome to some more LRS, LRS fishing. How's it going? It's currently seven o'clock in the morning. Um, we're at the caravan again, east coast of England. But I'll come to, um, now this beach, I don't remember if you last time I come here. I'm at a place called Cut Gap. Um, um, I don't know, look. See that ladder? I climbed that ladder at six o'clock in the morning, do you remember? And um, a lovely couple came down the slipway and gave me a beer. I'm kind of hoping this morning they're gonna come down again. <laughs> Maybe a cup of tea and a pasty. <laughs> That'd be nice. Hot cup of tea and a pasty. It's a bit cold this morning, it's about four degrees. Um, it's coming up to seven. I've been on the go, I've been here since about six, setting up and just having a walk and stuff. Uh, it's a lovely morning again. I've caught it right. High tide will be in about an hour and a half. Um, just a little simple fishing session. I'm not going too crazy today. Um, just thought, oh, I'm here, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna enjoy it. I'm just gonna relax and chill and just watch the waves roll in. Hopefully I'll catch something, but if not, I'm not too fast. I'm just a quick little short session. I haven't got too much bait with me, just um, squid and a bit of um, lugworm. Um, should see me up for a couple hours, I think. Uh, I'm not, I'm not hoping for too much. I mean, we're coming up to mid, mid September now. Um, so yeah, so I'm just watching the top of my rod. <laughs> no, 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 it's nothing. Okay, it's just the waves. Now, considering it's a lovely calm morning, it's a bit choppy. waves are rolling in that's for sure so how is everyone hope we're all good I hope you're getting out there fishing um, yeah I'm enjoying it this is really good fun it's a beautiful morning um, so fingers crossed everything's gonna be all right now uh, I what I'm doing is because I'm um, when you probably get this it'll probably be October time probably because what I'm doing is I'm doing, I've done loads and loads of videos, but obviously I'm having problems with my laptop. I couldn't get an editing software thing on my laptop. Like it kept crashing and it was a nightmare. So I'm just using, um, I've got a really old white lap, lap, laptop that I used to use a couple of years ago. And I got that out and it has its own Windows editing, but it's so basic. Like it's built into the computer. Um, you can literally just do a bit of cutting and add a bit of music and that's it but it's so basic you know when you add a bit of music it plays throughout the whole video so you can't like choose when you want it to play and so it's ever so basic but it will do for now until I can get a better, uh, better uh, comp computer to do it so um, yeah I mean when you get this video it'll probably be mid-October probably but yeah fingers crossed you enjoyed my YouTube channel at the minute I mean you know I'm just a guy learning as I'm going, basically. So fingers crossed you're enjoying it. <laughs> um, I've got my glasses on, my shades on, because it's a bright morning. It's an absolute peat of a morning. And I thought I'd wear them today because every single time I look at you, I'm always squinting at the camera, I've noticed. I'm always squinting, which is not cool. I don't like that. <laughs> I like haven't got any eyeballs. <laughs> That's funny. So I've got my camping cook stuff with me. Um, gonna make a cup of tea. Last time I tried, I brought that. My lighter wouldn't work, so I've made sure that works. Everything's all in order as it should be. Come on, fishies, come to me. I want to catch some fish. It's gonna be great. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna kick back and relax. And if I catch anything, you'll be the first to know. Right, there's something I've noticed. Now, what's this here, look? Well, you're gonna tell me that's weed, obviously. But, the problem is, there's loads of it. Starting from there, 
going. I mean, look at it. Big, giant clumps of weed. There's more of it and more of it and more of it. Look at it. It's everywhere. Oh, I'm not too happy about that. And it, and just, a, just a line of it stringing all the way up the beach. And the same with, like, that side as well. Uh, which isn't good. <laughs> oh dear, never mind. Whoa. The waves are pounding in this morning. I mean, it looks flat calm, doesn't it? But uh, It's a beautiful morning. But anyway, last time I was here, um, I actually cracked off. And I came back the next morning, and um, I climbed up that ladder. I was, oh, I let me get my hands out of the way, sorry. I was climbing up the ladder, just messing around. Surprised it didn't snap, it's as rusty as anything, but it's actually quite solid. But anyway, enough of that. Absolutely gorgeous morning. Um, but I came back here the next morning and I've actually got my gear back. It's in the last bit, uh, one of my videos. Check them out, check it out, check it out if you haven't seen it. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Um, as I said in the, in the start, I'm just a bloke trying to learn how to do fishing. Um, so fingers crossed. Yeah, I'll actually get something today. This is going to be my new best friend, weed. Oh. It's not looking good. Not looking good. Oh well. Never mind. Get this off the line and we'll get, get recast it. Get out. Get it out of there. I think it's going to be one of those mornings. So, all a bit quiet at the minute. Got my tea though, it's all good. Um, I'm being plagued by the weed. There's a lot of weed out there and uh, the crabs are stripping my bait. Uh, but what's new, it always happens to me. But do you know what? Every single time I've done a beach fishing video, it's been windy. Not a breath of wind. It's beautiful. Makes a change, doesn't it? <laughs> Usually it's howling wind and oh I'll tell you. <laughs> I don't know. But I'm just gonna enjoy my cup of tea. I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna bring in my rods and see what I've got. Probably nothing. Um, crabs have probably stripped my bait as well, so I'll probably get them in in a second. Let me just finish my brew and um, yeah I'll get back to you. Okay, so this is what I'm doing. See that? Pulley panel rig. So we've got a pulley panel rig. Hook there. Hook there. Squid and worm. Bait elastic. Job done. Fingers crossed. But something really, un something unusual has just happened. Uh, let me cast this out, and then um, I'll let you know what's just happened. I might need someone to let me know about this because. I know what happens, I know what it feels like when weed gets on the line, but this has never happened before. So you'll have to let me know what you think in the comments section, because this is, it's a bit weird. 
bear with me, all right. Okay, so I've just cast out the rod. Now, I was reeling in and it felt really heavy. And I was like, oh, here we go, here's, here's more weed. Um, it just, the more, the, the further I brought it in, the heavier it felt. And I was having to really, like, get into it, you know? And I couldn't reel it in fast, I just couldn't. It felt really heavy. Um, there was no, I couldn't feel a kick. Uh, there was no like bite indication on the top of the rod, but I'd say as I got halfway, the rod, it felt like I had a crack. It felt like um, I got snagged and it all snapped off because the top of the, <laughs> say it, don't spray it. <laughs> oh gosh, the top of the rod, nearly smacked me in the face, it just bang, cracked right back, nearly smacked me in the face. I was like, oh great, I've lost all my gear. So I thought, it's weed, right? So I start reeling in, and it goes heavy again. Well, not too heavy. It's my, my lead, I've got a five ounce grip lead on. And it's just there, everything's fine. What's that about? Like, it felt like a fish had come off. You know, like, you just got that, the top of the rod just went bang, cracked right back, nearly smacked me in the face. What's that? That's not weed, is it? I mean, weed, it just gets in a big clump by your lead or on the line. It doesn't just all over a sudden just ping off, does it? Um, you know, it just gathers around your, um, your lead or not, or around the lead, or around the hooks. But there was no weed on the line, there was nothing. And it felt really... It, it, it was really heavy, um, so I was just like, that's just weed, obviously, but no. The, when I was reeling in, I was up here, and the, the top of the rod just went Psh. Let me know, what, has that ever happened to you with weed? Was that weed, or have I just lost a big fish? Um, I mean, I, I was making a cup of tea, so maybe I missed the bite, I don't know. But honestly, it felt so heavy, and the top of the rod, it really snapped back. So, let me know what you think. Have I just lost the fish? Grab my cuppa. You see me right? Sweet. There's a lot of weed. There's weed cu I've cast out my left rod, my left hand side rod. Literally 10 seconds ago, and there's weed creeping up the line. I don't know if you'll pick it up with the phone. Let me see. Let me see if I can get him for you. Let's have a look. There you go. Look, them, them little dots. Just, there's one there and one there. And there's one at the bottom as well, just there. Literally, I've cast that out just now, and there's weed coming up the line already. <laughs> but I'm telling you now, yeah. I've just, I've, that was a fish on. I'm convinced that was a big fish. Sorry, I'm just sorting out the tripod, sorry. Um, I'm convinced that was a fish. 100% that was a fish. 
felt big. It felt really heavy. It probably, it, it might not have been, but I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell her. <laughs> it was a fish. <laughs> no, it probably wasn't, but, um, you know, what can I do? But I've just had a guy. I was talking to a guy. A guy come down to have a little word with me, a youngish bloke. And he goes, oh, he went on a barbel fishing trip. And um, he caught... He caught a couple of nice barbel, but then he said he got himself into a um, an albino barbel. Albino. Have you ever heard of that? An albino barbel. Apparently, it's quite big, um, and he lost he, he lost that by the net. Um, apparently, his missus got a video. He was, she was recording him doing it, uh, but it just pinged off by the net. That's what he said. Um, yeah, is it, is it really? Albino? Wow, well, never heard of that one before. But what do I know? <laughs> Nothing, by looks things. I think I'm gonna blank. Oh, it's not happening today. Um, whoa, whoa, flipping heck. That was like a tsunami. Oh, word. That was a massive wave. Did you hear that? God, dear, oh dear. <laughs> yeah. Um, anyway, yeah, it's really quiet. Nothing's really happening apart from that fit that fish I'm telling you that was a fish it was a fish <laughs> nah, it was seaweed um, now nothing's really happening I'm getting a lot of weed on the line um, yeah I don't really know what else to say about it to be honest <laughs> one of these days I'm actually gonna catch something for you that'd be nice won't it Everyone. Well, I'm just going to enjoy this cup of tea. I just thought I'd let you know what's going on. Um, let me tell you about what I've got. So, my line, I'm using um, mono. A uh, 20 pound main line on both um, rods. The, the good rod, my, um, the blue rod. That's, that's Daiwa Sensor. It's called Daiwa Sensor. I'm sure you've all heard of it. It's, it's good line, man. I like it. I like using it. Um, the left hand rod, I don't know what line it is. It came with the reel. Um, and I'm using a 50 pound shock leader. So 20, man, 20 pound main line, 50 pound shock leader. So yeah, that's my setup. I need to buy a new reel for the left hand rod, the cheap, uh, the leader, 700. It's, it's the, the um, I don't know, the, the mechanism inside, it's not working too well. It keeps jamming, so I don't know what's going on there. Um, just started doing it a minute ago when I was reeling in. Um, it just kept it kept jamming. Yeah, a bit strange that. So that's that's on its way out. I mean, I wash them down regularly, but hey, that's you know, is what it is. Um, stuff doesn't last forever, does it? But it's it's very quiet today. Nobody's on the beach. Nobody's walking around. It's Saturday. The sun's shining. It's a beautiful day. I mean, I'm getting real. I'm gonna have to take this off. I'm getting really hot. Uh, but. I haven't seen one dog walking. That's weird for around here. Usually you get, you know, a lot of people walking their dogs. Nothing. I mean, it's gone half, it's half nine now. And I haven't, apart from that one guy who said about his albino barbel, <laughs> I haven't seen anybody. It's a bit strange that for around here, but it's nice because I could just do what I need to do, talk to you guys and not feel a bit weird. <laughs> people looking at me gone out. Why is he talking to himself? <laughs> well, that has happened. It's a beautiful blue sky, and there's this strange yellow thing in the sky up there. Never seen it before. It's very warm. <laughs> no, it's a lovely day, lovely morning. Beautiful. Right, I'm going to enjoy my second cup of tea, and um, yeah, I'll catch up with you in a bit. This is what we're working with. Five ounce grip lid. Hook, hook, hook. Right, let's cast this out there and see what happens. Oh, Tell you what. This is on its way out, man. It's abs the clutch is messed on it. It gets jammed. That's that's Less tension.
So, I had the, the, I don't know what's going on with the left reel. That leader 700 is absolutely knackered. I had the drag backed right off and to see how it got jammed and I was trying to pull it, but yeah, it's not good. But I've got to work with what I've got, so I'm just gonna have to struggle on and that. But it just, it get, it just gets jammed and that's that. I'd, it's annoying. Because then sometimes, because the drag is, uh, no matter what I do with the drag, it just doesn't release. So I just have to keep playing with it until it comes undone. Um, sometimes I have to take the spool completely off or whatever. That doesn't work either sometimes. It's just completely jammed. I don't know, it's a pain in the ass, but what can I do? The agility, the right hand rod, uh, the reel, that's a beautiful, that's nice that is. It's a good rod, good rod and reel, the good, the good one. Keeps me going. <laughs> Uh, we'll keep on persisting. Oh look, here we go, there's a boat coming along here. Look, see if I'll zoom in and get him for you. There you go. Look at this guy flying along. There he is. There he is. Go on, son. Lovely little boat. It's probably been launched at Sea Pool Inn. I'd love to be on a boat. I'd love to get my own boat. I think that'd be awesome. I think it'd be so much fun, but people say, oh, it's really expensive, is this, is this, is that. Yeah, I guess it would be, but I think it'd be really fun to be, have your own boat to do and go whatever you want. Oh. Look at him zipping along. <laughs> That's cool, isn't it? Oh well. Anyway, we're going to keep on going. And uh, I mean, I haven't got much bait left, and yeah, it's getting on to about 10 o'clock now, so yeah, we'll keep going and see what happens. It's not happening today. Um, I've blanked yet again. Whoa, fourth, fourth blank in a row. <laughs> but you know what? I don't really care. I've had quite a stressful week, so I was like, do you want to stuff it? Let's get down here. It's, you know, we got to come down here last night, took a couple hours. I just thought, like, stuff it. I'll get down here early in the morning and have a bit of a de stress, you know? And um, it's worked a treat. It's, it's, oh, it's lovely. Can't go wrong, really. Yeah, it's beautiful here. I finally got the, uh, on the, See that? Finally got it working. I just had to give it a good yank and oh, nearly, <laughs> nearly snapped the handle off it, but never mind. I'm definitely gonna have to get a new uh, reel. Any recommendations for a good reel? I mean the um, the agility one. That's that's a good one. The, the agility sir. That one. That's a that's a really good reel. I really like using that. It's a good rod and reel combo. But um, yeah, the rod's all right. It's just the reel. The rod's perfect, just the room. Never mind. So I'm gonna pack the gear down. Let me know about what you thought about that fish. Uh, well, seaweed. I'm, I'm calling it a fish. In my opinion, I had a fish on and it was a beast. <laughs> I think it was a big, like, five, six pound bass. That's what I think. It felt really heavy and it just pinged off. Um, I don't think it was seaweed, but you know, let me know if that's ever happened to you before. Um, if you've had seaweed on, and it's all just pinged off out there. Because usually, uh, what, why would seaweed ping off out to sea? Surely it will just all travel down the, and get stuck on the, um, the leader knot or whatever, like I said earlier. Um, I think it was a fish. It's got to be. Had to have been. Had to, it had to have been. <laughs> oh dear. No, it's good. I've enjoyed it. It's been a lovely session. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope it hasn't been too boring for you. Um, like, comment and subscribe. Yeah man, put some comments in there and let me know what you're thinking. Um, but again, thank you for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe, that'd be great. See you again.